right, so let's go and install the new input system. Uh, we're not going to be using the old input system, you know, where you would do like input.get access or anything like that. We're going to actually use this to set up, you know, multiple mappings so we can use the keyboard and the Xbox controller, which, you know, it'll save us tons of time. So let's take a look at how to get this done. Okay, so what we need to do first is we need to come up here to window and we need to go to the package manager. And what we want to do is we want to look for the input uh, system. There it is. So this one definitely requires that we have this show preview packages on uh, because it's still in preview. All right. And so I'm just going to select that and install that. And this will take a, just a little bit um, and I'll be right back. All right. So finished installing. Uh, what it's telling us now is that we need to uh, restart the editor uh, because it, it requires a restart. So I'm just going to select yes. And Unity is going to finish installing and then shut down the editor for us and uh, get things rolling. All right, I actually had to go and uh, restart it myself, but I, in the past it's actually restarted it for me. Um, this time I just needed to restart it. Again, it's still in preview, so. Uh, now what we have the ability to do is inside of assets down here in our project uh, tab over here, if we just right click and say create, come all the way to the bottom, there should be this new input actions asset type for you. And this allows us to then, you know, set up or map our control. So let's take a look. I'm actually going to call this uh, drone inputs. All right. And what we can do is we can uh, double click on it to launch this editor where we go and set up our action maps. Or we can go and click on this in the inspector over here and uh, bring that same window up like so. All right. So inside of here, we can go and add a new action map. All right. So I'm just going to click the little plus button right here. And I'm going to call this uh, drone. All right, and you can have multiples in these, and uh, you'll see later uh, down the road here, uh, we can actually switch between these really fast inside of the um, inspector in the player input component. All right, but for now, let's just focus on creating just the one, and we're going to make, you know, some new action here. And so what I want to do is I'm going to call this, um, you know, something like move. All right, and so I'm just going to uh, delete the uh, initial mapping there. And what we've done is we set up this input action. All right, and I'm going to put this to let's put it to a value and let's add a 1d axis component all right so let's do that this allows us to set up you know like a negative and positive type key so we can just call this um, we'll call it AD something like that because what I want to do now is select one of these guys all right so for the negative input I want to set the type of input that we want all right and so you have a bunch of options to choose from in here all right, so we have the gamepad, joystick, keyboard, mouse, pen, pointer, a bunch of stuff in here, which is awesome. We don't have to actually code it ourselves anymore. All right, and so in this case, I want to use the keyboard, and uh, then we can go and, you know, select, you know, all of the different keys in here, or you could just use the search. In this case, since I know the key that I want, I'm just going to put in A, and then you can see down here in the list, it's available for us. All right, so then I'm going to go and select the positive here, and I want to do D, and we want to get the D keyboard. All right. And what's really important, you just need to make sure that you're always saving this. You can turn on the auto save, but I, you know, just out of habit, have gotten into, you know, the habit of hitting the save asset button constantly. Uh, I, I've also been docking it up here. The more and more I use it, and I just kind of leave it up um, as I, you know, work on controllers and stuff like that inside of Unity. All right. So now we've got that all set up. Uh, we want to just test to see if this is working. So uh, we could do a really quick uh, test here. I can come over here into the hierarchy panel and right click and say create empty we'll just call this uh, test uh, input like so and what we need to do is we need to um, create some sort of script so i'm just going to create some throwaway script so i'm just going to right click on assets here and go to create uh, new c sharp script and we'll call this test uh, input as well all right i'm just going to delete this later on i just want to show you guys how to access the input values that are now coming through um, our um, input actions over here Okay, and so let's uh, double click this guy. We're going to launch Visual Studio. All right. And what we want to do is we want to um, get the input right. We want to actually read that value. And so in order to do this, let me actually go back to Unity here really quick. In order to do this on our actual game object where we're, you know, we're going to be controlling something with input, uh, we need to include a, a new component called player input. All right, so we need to say player input like so. All right. And what we need to do is we need to assign our actions that we just created. So we created an action map right here. So we need to assign that asset 
that's over here in the project, not our script, our drone inputs, we need to assign it there. All right. And you'll notice now we have the ability to uh, pick a default map. All right. So we can have a bunch in here and dynamically just switch it using this little drop down. Super useful, super quick. It's also uh, set to a behavior of send messages. Okay. And, you know, when you're just starting out, um, this is a good one to use. All right. And then below that, you'll notice all the messages that it's going to be sending. So these are uh, basically callbacks you can listen for all right, in your scripts. As long as this component is on the same game object as the script that's listening for these messages. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So the one thing you should take note of is we have this on move message. And that is referring to this action that we set up, this input action. Okay, so in our script now, with all that information in our brains, in that script now what we can do is we can create that or create a function with that same name on move and retrieve the uh, input values. Okay, so we're going to say void on move. All right, and these particular messages require that you have one argument. And <laughs> I didn't want to use on animator move. We need one argument, and that's that input value. But you'll notice that it doesn't show up right away. And that's because I need to be using the namespace. All right, so I'm going to come up here and say using uh, Unity Engine dot input system. Now we have access to all that particular code that is um, specific to the input system, the new one. All right, so now what we can do is come in here and say uh, input value, and we'll just call it value. It's the usual uh, thing. You can name it or whatever you want. All right, and then uh, what we want to do, let's just debug that. We'll say debug uh, dot log, and we'll say uh, value dot uh, get. All right, so we'll use get, and so we need to tell what type of value we're going to get in this case. Uh, if I go back to Unity over here, uh, we're just getting a single value. All right, so we just have a single value. This is going to return negative one and one for me. All right, so let's go up here, and we're going to do a float inside of there, or parentheses, like so, and then semicolon. So now this will basically print out that float value. All right, so let's save our script, go back to Unity, all right, and let it all compile. And let's go to the console and let's just make sure, let's hit play and make sure we're getting that value. And it's usually helpful <laughs> to go and put the script onto the component like so. All right, so let's do that and let it play. And there you go. So in the console, now you can see I'm getting negative one, one. All right. And there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. So we'll talk more about this as we get further along. I just wanted to show the general use. Um, you know, installing it, um, getting a new uh, asset created, input asset, and then, you know, creating your own action map. So that's basically how we start to work with the input system. All right. Thanks so much.